Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, if you've ever considered joining the fashion industry, then this might be the opportunity for you to start listening and thinking about the next steps that you should take. Today, we have with us somebody who will come to talk to us about starting a fashion label in Nigeria. His name is Tolu Lokwe Akin Peluye, and he's a creative director behind NAC Apparel. Thank you so much for joining us, Tolu. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being here. Thank you. And I think we should start off by asking, why the name NAC? <laughs> I get this question all the time. Um, for us in 2006, I was, what, 19, 20 years old, mm. and I was a lover of fashion brands. And at this point, I was looking, something came to me to create a Nigerian brand. No, the Nigerian brand, that brand that is going to represent Nigerians all over the world. And um, we needed a controversy. Um, loving brands like DKNY, YSL, FC UK growing up, I needed to create a controversy that if you ever encountered the brand, you'll never forget it. So it had to be an acronym, and it had to have a controversy. So we went with the NAC word, but it actually means the, Ni it actually means the Nigerian Articulate Culture Collection. Brilliant. So what we are asking this question is because we're looking at starting a fashion label in yeah. Nigeria, and the first point being choosing a name, and you chose a controversial name, yes. one that gets people, it definitely caught my attention because I had to ask you, yeah. why does it matter why you choose that? So now let's talk about your journey, starting mm. out in 2006. Can anybody just start out a fashion label? Like, do you have to have passion for it? Or you can think, oh, it's a viable business option. I can start it as a side hustle. Why did you start, and how did you start? Um, for me... So growing up, I grew up in Kaduna. My mom used to be a tailor. So when I, and I, I used to love a lot of brands. So I, what I did was I bought clothes from sometimes the secondhand market. I think it's my mom's tailor to tailor it for me. He never gets it. So my, my, my curiosity was why do things made abroad look so cool and things made in Nigeria are really not cool? So... I actually thought t-shirts were made in heaven, honestly. Okay. Till I got into university and I saw a made in Nigeria t-shirt by a guy called Hypno. I heard he passed on yesterday. May so rest in peace. Oh, rest in peace. But he, he was, that was the first made in Nigeria t-shirt I ever saw and it changed my concept forever. So for me, when I was going to go into fashion, I knew that this was all I wanted to do. But what triggered it was, I made t-shirts for myself when I was in 100 level, wore it all, washed it and hung it and they stole it. So in the process of shaking the whole place, like yeah, my clothes and all, um, someone told me that, look, if they steal something you made, it means that it's good business. Mm -hmm. And for me, I started doing that, trying out stuff, um, designing stuff on my computer. But for someone who didn't grow up in Lagos also, um, I think it was God's direction because um, having to leave Ota and go to Yaba that you've never been to before to actually look for fabric, and find someone to tailor the stuff for you. So it was an interesting experience. What were you studying at the time? Electrical and information electronics. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Now, there's often an argument that the fashion industry in Nigeria is quite saturated. Some people say, yes, it is, and others say, actually, no, it's not. It depends on your creative direction. What side of the divide are you on, and how have you found a niche for NAC in the industry? So, um, like you said, there are two sides of this story. In the UK, we have over... 600,000 registered fashion brands. Um, in Nigeria, I think Nigeria is still a growing market. We haven't even scratched the surface of the fashion industry in Africa. So I think anyone who wants to start up a fashion business today has the market for it. Um, though we don't have um, our segmentation by demography or psychography yet, everybody just wants to make clothes for a particular group of people or my neighbor. So everyone is basically a fashion designer. But I think we still need more brands, more serious brands in Nigeria today. Okay. Now we're looking at starting a fashion label in Nigeria. From your mm -hmm. experience, what would you say are some of the tips you would give to someone who wants to start out in the fashion industry? Um, I can only use my story, but everyone's story is different. For me, first, you must love fashion. You must really love it. And secondly, you must not be ashamed to sell it. Selling it is actually very, very, very important. Um, so what we, hmm, um, what I'll say is this. You need to get your concept right. You need to have a good brand name. Then, most importantly, your products. 
That's all that matters. With these three things, I think it's a good start for you if you want to start a fashion brand. But also, with the world we are in today where everyone is a competition, I think um, also having a 10-page business plan that basically directs you. Because sometimes you want to make t-shirts for bike riders and you find out that it's the MDs of banks that want your t-shirt. So sometimes you want to have a business plan that just keeps directing you on how you want to go. Interesting. Now, what's exciting for the fashion industry around this time of year in Nigeria is the fact that we're all looking forward to Lagos Fashion and Design Week. Yeah. Can we expect anything from NAC? Are you going to be showcasing anything? And if so, what should we be expecting? Hmm. Interesting question. Yes, we'll, we'll be on the runway um, this year for the first time. And um, our SS19 collection will be um, a fusion of our culture from time past with today's merging. Basically, our culture with the Western world will be talking a lot about things people don't talk about, like how women ruled Africa before the 19th century. Brilliant. So that's, that's the concept we're going we with. We look forward to seeing all that happen. Yep, I know. Now, let's, let's talk about something important. When it comes to marketing, you know, there's yeah. certain tools that are very important. Influencer marketing is like the order of the day. Now, these days we see brands like Nike. Oh, we had a recent collaboration with Nike and Whiskey. I'm going to ask you what your thoughts on yeah. that are. But we've also had Nike, you know, having Colin Kaepernick and Serena Williams and the likes of them. And we saw you. You used Teddy A for your, we've had pictures of Teddy A showing on the screen, yeah. pictures of Lily Affair and several other celebrities. What are the things that designers look out for when deciding who should be their influencer or who should be the face of their brand? Um, I can't speak for all fashion brands, but for us, we look at people who match the stylish, freedom and confident look. That's what we look for, which is what most Nigerians or influencers in Nigeria have. The confidence to face the people who say all sorts of stuff in your comments, the confidence to wake up in the morning and decide to look good and show the world how good you look. That confidence, that's what we look out for. We used um, Teddy A and Lilia Fair for this campaign shoot because we wanted to, um, we, we had the inspiration of a military concept. And um, for Teddy A, I, I think, I stand to be corrected, but I, I think he's still one of the most fashionable um, influencers of 20 18. I think everywhere you find him, even in his sleep, he's looking good. Um, for Lily Affair, I think she's put in a lot of work in actually showing the world that she's a very fashionable person. And day by day, even when I go through her post, I'm always impressed with the kind of pictures she put up. So that's why we use both of them. Brilliant, brilliant. It's always good to have influencers on your side anyway oh, yes. in order for you to build your brand. But let's speak about the challenges. What are the uh, hardcore challenges that you are facing, not only as a fashion designer, but also as a business owner in Nigeria today? It's a long list of... Oh, okay, yeah, top three. Top three. <laughs> well, I'll put everything in one. I call it Nigerialysis. It's a Say disease. Say that again? Nigerialysis. Um, it's a disease. Um, it's a combination of lackadaisical attitude of staff, of staffs, you know, um, government policies, you know, um, the the environment as a whole. But all these things that are the challenges are also opportunities that we use to grow the business. Trust me, um, it's easier to start up a fashion brand in Nigeria than start up a fashion brand anywhere else in the world, because with with fifty thousand naira, you can actually start something. And, um, but abroad, it's almost the same thing, but it's harder because there are more strict policies, you know. I mean, you can keep doing fashion in Nigeria for five years and the government won't notice you yet. Because it's freelance, yeah. All right, so now let's talk about, you have all these challenges, but beyond mm. all these challenges, you've been able to advance your business as a business person, as a fashion entrepreneur, very quickly. How have you been able to employ technology in the use of this? We know that you do online as well. And oh, you yeah. also had a recent video shoot for, for your campaign. So oh, what yeah. are some of the things you've done to push yourself forward? It's simple. We look at the biggest brands in the world and they direct us on how we need to go. So um, with our exposure, with um, education and all. We know that the future is tech. So constantly, Nigeria is not ready, but we position ourselves in a place where they can find us. 
in the near future when they're okay. ready to shop. So. You also have a pop-up coming up. Yes. When is it happening? Where is it happening? Oh, it's on Sunday, um, the 16th. It's happening in Ikoi. Can anybody come? No, it's strictly by invite. But if you slide into our DM to ask for the invite, you can get one. Okay, okay so yeah. where's the DMs at? What are your social media handles? Uh, for Okay, it's Instagram, um, NAC underscore apparel. Then uh, Twitter is NAConline.com. Um, or rather, NAC Online. All right. So those two handles, if you slide into our DM, we'll send you a link. An e invite. And guess who they are going to be meeting there? Well, everyone that is everyone. Okay, so <laughs> they're going to, be, just in case you're interested in going, um, we'll definitely be there. We we'll look forward to meeting all of you there. But thank you so much for joining thank us. You thank so you so much. It's been much. an absolute yeah. pleasure. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.